I have rebooted the Pi and we are getting an IP address assigned to us via DHCP again. You can see the my IP address is 192.168.1.138. So moving on to the second option for static IP address assignment, uh, we will need to modify the dhcpcd.conf file. Uh, make sure you note the CD at the end of DHCP. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to open a file that doesn't exist. Uh, so we will use a program called Nano to open that file. Uh, but first I need to get logged back in to the Pi. So let me do that now. Okay, so now that I'm logged back into the Pi, I am going to use sudo because we need super user privileges. We're going to use the program called nano, and we're going to open a file at slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf. And you have to put in your password. All right, so now that we are in the dhcpcd.conf file, we need to look for the section in the file that provides an example static IP config configuration. So I will use the search feature of Nano to search. Uh, simply press the Control W and then type in what you're looking for. In this case, we're going to look for static. And this will take us to this part, but we're looking for this section right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this example here as a guide. So I'm going to put a couple of spaces here. Um, yes, I could go up there. I could um, remove the hashtag or the pound sign, whatever you want to call it, from the uh, few lines at the top. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to leave that information there. So if I need to reference it in the future, it's still there. So we need to say interface. Ethernet zero static IP underscore address equals, and I want to give it 192.168.1.87 slash 24. And then I want to do static routers. And that's 192.168.1.1. And then I want to do static domain name servers. And so I'm going to give it the local DNS server, which is the router. And then I'm also going to give it Google's public DNS servers. Uh, you do not have to do that if you do not wish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file by pressing Control X and Y to save it, press Enter, and then I'm going to reboot the Pi again. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi has rebooted and you can see where it says my IP address is 192.168.1.87. So that is how you assign a static IP address using the dhcpcd.conf file.